Welcome, my friends, to a new episode of Filmo Linguistics. And in this episode, we're going to talk about a wonderful English language expression. We're going to talk about Bob's your uncle. So we're going to talk about the meaning of this expression and where it came from and how we can use it. We will also see how it is used in so many movies and we will talk also about similar expressions to this one. So let's go. So first, in order to check the meaning of Bob's your uncle, let's check a dictionary. And let's go to this one, um, Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English. And let's see what it says. First, it says it's a British English expression. And it is used more in spoken English. But when do we use this expression? We actually use it when we want to say that something will be easy to do, simple to do, not a problem to finish. Right. But what is the story behind Bob's your uncle? Where did it come from and why Bob? Let's see. And actually, this is Bob, the man you see in the picture. Now, this Bob was a British prime minister, and his name is Robert Gascoigne. Now, what is the story of Robert Gascoigne and why his name is related to this expression, which is Bob's your uncle? So what happened? Now, let me tell you about the story. In 1887, Bob wanted to appoint his nephew as the chief secretary for Ireland. Aha. So Bob or Robert Gascoigne, who was the prime minister in England, wanted to appoint his nephew as the chief secretary of Ireland. Now, many people didn't like that. And they started saying he wants to appoint his nephew as the chief secretary of Ireland. So it's all about nepotism. It's all about a special treatment for relatives. And this is where um, the expression Bob's your uncle came from. So when something is so simple and so easy, they say Bob's your uncle, which means when Bob is your uncle, you can be anything you want. But then this meaning developed in English language and it became, you know, um, an equal expression to the adjective easy. So when something is easy, you say, and Bob's your uncle. So all what you need to do is to read these couple of chapters and then you'll be ready for the exam, Bob's your uncle, which means simple, so easy. Right, okay, so now let me give you an example from a movie and the movie is The Saint. And let's have a look at this text together. Hmm, so we need to find this nomad. Get the key, read the crystal, swap it for the girl and Bob's your uncle. So where the devil do we start? So look at this. Find this nomad, get the key, read the crystal, swap it for the girl, and Bob's your uncle, which means it's so easy now. Right, another example from the movie, Nick. Let's see, let's read this together. Hmm, cookies, delicious, and very easy to make. Two cups of flour, sugar, icing sugar, butter, nutmeg, Bob's your uncle. Aha. And again, of course, Bob's your uncle, him is very easy, right? And another example, and let's go to the movie, hmm, Dark of the Dead. And let's read the text together. And it says, there's nothing tragic in a reanimated corpse. How can there be? A reanimated corpse is just a reanimated corpse. There's nothing tragic about it. You shoot it in the head, Bob's your uncle. And again, Bob's your uncle, so easy. Right, good. 
Now let's watch some examples of native speakers using Bob's Your Uncle in different contexts. Let's go. Bidding went up to 16 grand very quickly. We sent it out. We used that money for work ethic scholarships. Boom, Bob's your uncle. And then it's just a case of adding those finishing touches and Bob's your uncle. Put that all in together, marinate whatever protein you're using and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, magic, hey presto, boom, bish, bash, bosh. Now, you just have to wait for the plane to taxi by and Bob's your uncle. To get the foxes used to coming into it, uh, start ceasing to be frightened of it, and uh, then you set it, and Bob's your uncle. Get in okay, catapult, pull lever, and Bob's your uncle, you've arrived! Put in my bag, take to lectures, and then when I'd get home, I'd just be able to plug it into a screen and hunky-dory, Bob's your uncle. What I thought looked nice was to add a thin strip to each window to act as a sill. And Bob's your uncle, boom shakalaka, bada bing bada boom. Now, time to check similar expressions for Bob's your uncle. And we have here five different expressions. So the first one is easy peasy. And some people would say easy peasy, Japanesey. And some people would say easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> right. Also, we have duck soup. We also have cake walk. And we also have walk in the park. And we have piece of cake. Wonderful. So let's have a look at these similar expressions used in different films. Let's go. And we've got here the movie Imperfections. And let's read the text. I just bring the stuff to the other stores in the area. When there's no deliveries, do a little computer stuff. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Okay, right. Another example. And let's go to the movie Pusher. Let's read the text. Hmm. To make the syrup, take some sugar, lot of sugar, boil up with some water and lemon juice, and pour it over. Easy peasy. And then the guy said, easy peasy, lemon is squeezy. Right. Wonderful. Hmm. So now let's go and watch some native speakers using the expression easy peasy in different contexts. Let's go. And I know about all of these biases. So there are two things I always do. One, super easy peasy. I don't look at their names when I grade their papers. Ready? Their strengths, they knew each other's weaknesses, they knew each other's workflow already, so when they came together to form a company, it was easy peasy. I could change the mailing address on file with the IRS, so the paperwork would go to my accountant instead of to my UPS address. Easy peasy. Open the app, select a country, or choose Quick Connect to take you to the nearest server, and you'll be there in seconds. Easy peasy lemon juice is delicious. They traded their hair to the sea witch for an enchanted knife. All the Little Mermaid has to do is plunge it into the prince's heart while he sleeps beside his new queen. And then she'll turn back into a mermaid and live the rest of her 300 years with her family. Easy peasy, women squeezy. I can go online on the Warby Parker site, place my order, pop these back in the box, slap a prepaid label on it, and send it back to Warby. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, I love it. The thing is, when people often have a crush, they'll want to please them by doing what's comfortable for them. If that means simply downloading another app to text on, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And you have a guy like him, complete nobody. Nobody really knows who you are. You're not a famous no. person, but you're banking your 18K in eight weeks, you know, and that's easy peasy lemon squeezy. And this flower that I've had for forever and didn't realize perfectly matches the fabric and also has a pin, so easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now let's go to duck soup. And let's see from movies how duck soup is used also by native speakers. And let's go to the film, hmm, The Big Kahuna. And let's go to the text, hmm. And it says, it's the actual process of being skinned alive and set fire to. That's the difficult part. The rest is duck soup. Okay. And duck soup means 
Easy, simple, right. Another example, hmm. And the movie, California Split. And let's read the text, hmm. Yeah, it's kind of similar to the Miami Dolphins. This particular game is duck soup. And again, duck soup means easy, right. Now let's go and watch some native speakers using duck soup in different contexts. Let's go. Dismiss that statement of Jesus because we say, well, to exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, that's a piece of cake. That's duck soup. She says, you're going to deny me. Oh, no, no, not a chance. Simon, Simon, Satan would have you and sift you like wheat. You're s simple. Duck soup for Satan. Now, let's go to cakewalk. Hmm, cakewalk. Now let's see how this is also used in different films. And hmm, we have the movie Black Swan. And let's read this text. Hmm. Everything was set up properly in terms of embracing the idea of using mirrors. You're seeing Brendan in a mirror, but the mirror that we're seeing him in is in another mirror above the bed, which is next to another mirror that they could potentially see him in. And he's going around this giant stalactite chandelier thing, which is also in the mirror. It's great. It's been a cakewalk, really. I could do this in my sleep. Aha. So look at this. A cakewalk. And also, an another wonderful also expression here, which is, I could do this in my sleep. Right. Wonderful. Another example. Hmm. And this time the movie platoon. And let's read the text. And it goes as follows. Hmm. Gentlemen, come on. Don't move. You did a good job. But pay attention. That will be no cakewalk. Okay, right. Which means it won't be easy. Lovely. Now let's go to some native speakers using cakewalk in different contexts. Let's go. Training immigrants to run for public office and leading a movement for inclusive democracy. But I don't want you to think it was a cakewalk that America opened its arms wide and welcomed me. We can't trace all of the impacts that we're seeing to the separation, that often pre-separation events are harmful. For people who are making a very difficult and arduous journey to get to our border, it's often not a cakewalk. And so pre-separation experiences that led them to seek refuge in the US, as well as that journey, may have also been traumatic. And, you know, most of you were probably pretty young when 2008 uh, came along. But 1987 made 2008 look like a cakewalk. Uh, you know, 2000, uh, 1987, the stock market lost a third of its value in three days. At that time, we had just gone to, uh, we being the United States, had just gone to war in Iraq for the second time. And I overheard our president, well, overheard, like on television, saying that the invasion of Iraq would be a cakewalk. And after breathing a huge sigh of relief, I add the clamps. No rest for the weary, though, since the hamper top needs to be assembled. But this is a cakewalk compared to what we just did. Now let's check the suppression walk in the park in different films. And let's go to the movie, hmm, Bride Wars. And the text goes as follows. Mm hmm Are you all right? Nothing to worry about, sir. It's going to be a walk in the park which means it's going to be easy. It's going to be simple. Lovely. Another example. And this time the movie, hmm, Undisputed. Lovely. Let's see the text. Hmm. Even if it was something, he's been in here for 10 years. I'm just saying it might not be a walk in the park, which means it might not be easy or simple. So let's go to some native speakers using walk in the park in different contexts. Let's watch. As I would come to learn over the next weeks, months, and years, my daughter is a sleeper. She's a shockingly picky eater, and potty training was no walk in the park, but that kid can sleep. Do you yeah. have any of those fears? Was this well, I did, I did in this play, and I never had before. King Lear was a walk in the park to learn, because this play is full of ellipses. 
Yeah. And tremendous repetitions of sorry, what, what, over and over again. Searching for your career path is not always a walk in the park. If you are attending school or a recent graduate, you may find this discovery to be quite a challenge. But on the day that that, that video was taken, it didn't feel scary at all. It felt as comfortable and as natural as a walk in the park, which is what most folks were doing in Yosemite that day. Being a kid these days is no walk in the park, but that's just as well. Now, time for the suppression, a piece of cake. And let's go to the movie, hmm, marked for death. Right, and let's read the text, hmm. Jimmy Fingers, ex-casino man out of Atlantic City. That's a piece of cake. You pop in, you got it. Why don't you help us out on this one? Because I'm out. Hmm. So that's a piece of cake. That's easy. Right. Another example. And this time from the movie, hmm, were no angels. Let's go for the text. And, hmm, you think that's dishonesty? You just go on and think it. I can do it. You can, Jim. It's a piece of cake. I can do it. Why? So it's a piece of cake. It's easy. Now it is time to go and see some native speakers using a piece of cake in different contexts. Let's go. Charts, massive trends just pop out. And you look at the little jig, you know, in the middle where it goes down a little bit and comes right back like, oh, it's a piece of cake. You blow it up into a daily. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> or you live through it, you know. <laughs> I think it is, there's no way to tell it would work. If it would work, we know it would work, piece of cake, I think most people would get behind it. But they understood pricing, inventory management, marketing, succession planning. It's a piece of cake. So I realized what we really needed to do was help them repurpose their street skills. The hardest part, always, is dealing with myself in relation to those things. Marriage, actually, my wife is fantastic. My marriage is a piece of cake, except when I'm being difficult. Now, social scientists call this the paradox of aging. I mean, after all, aging is not a piece of cake. That said, designing an effective and responsible gene drive isn't a piece of cake. So, my friends, thank you so much for watching this new episode of Filmo linguistics and i hope you enjoyed um, this episode don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have any question i'll be down there in the comments just leave your comment i'll be responding to you thank you so much bye bye